Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Louise and I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and occasionally Etsy. Um, and I've just kicked my entire family out of the yard um, to do a thread up unboxing, social distancing, inventory sourcing video. Um, so while all this craziness is going on in the world around us, obviously going to thrift stores is not um, possibly or probably the smartest thing to do. Um, and so I have placed several orders at ThreadUp for rescue boxes as part of my inventory strategy um, while we are staying home. Um, I'm also working through my death pile. Um, I probably will reach out to friends about anything they're wanting to uh, let go if they're doing any kind of purging uh, while they're home. Anyway, I've ordered three different, or three different ones have arrived today. I'm going to do them in three different videos, so I'm not sure which one I have next to me. I ordered a denim uh, DIY rescue box, a mixed clothing rescue box, and a men's clothing rescue box. There are not a lot available right now, but I figured anything is better than nothing. Um, I am opening them outdoors intentionally, and they will go directly into my washing machine through my garage when I'm done so that if there is by any crazy chance any viral germs on them they will go away. Um, sorry about the airplane we live fairly close to an airport and you may hear that through the video. Let's jump in. I did open it uh, like untape it but I haven't looked at it yet. Okay here's my invoice. So this one is DIY denim. Let's see what I got. The last time I did this one, I uh, did pretty well with it. So let's see. Tissue paper. And let's jump in. Okay, these are Xana dye jeans. This is like a super nothing brand, but they are 14 women's. Um, they do have some embroidery here and on the back pocket um, they're a skinny fit plus size probably if I had gotten these any other time I would not list them I would just redonate them but given that they're skinny they have the flower embroidery and they're plus size I probably will throw them up not for very much money okay this is a pair of Caslon, uh, which is Nordstrom rack. I don't know if they're at Nordstrom as well. Size six. Um, let's see. I'm gonna check the crotch. That looks fine. Uh, these do have some beading on the back pockets that is missing. Uh, a little bit of it is there on each pocket, but definitely not all of it. Um, and these are boot cut, not particularly in style, size six. Uh, I don't know what I'll do about that one. We'll see. Okay, next one is some black. Oh, these are Everlane, size eight. Let's check them and see if there's anything wrong with them. Everlane jeans are awesome. I do pretty well with them. The zipper seems to work. The crotch is okay. Check for any puckering. I don't, I'm sorry for the blowout there. I don't really see any puckering. They're really high rise, super wide, probably um, cropped length, uh, Everlane jeans. Yep, cropped wide regular. Okay, that's awesome. Super happy with that pair. These are uh, nothing. Judy Blue. I've never heard of this, but I can tell it's not great quality. Judy Blue, Los Angeles 13 or 31, which I think means these are a junior's size. 
and they have a bunch of junk on them here. Um, they do have a raw hem and they are a cropped flare. Um, and they have front pockets are kind of cute. So I might try to, uh, I might try to stain treat that and see, cause I might list them just on style alone. Um, if I can get it out because they're high rise, raw hem, cropped length. So they might do okay, but I have to get that spot out in order to try it. Okay, these are maternity. They are a glow maternity. I have no idea what a glow is. I assume nothing. Um, but I mean, I'll look them up. Um, but either way, maternity jeans, you know, I think are typically fairly sellable, just maybe not for much. These look like straight leg, maybe a very minor boot. Um, but those are cute, dark wash. There's a little bit of distressing on the back pocket. Um, again, I don't think that's a brand that is anything special, but um, I'll go ahead and list them because they're maternity. My daughter's banging at the door right now. So my apologies if she winds up popping out here. These are just Hollister size seven jean jeggings. A little bit of distressing, super skinny. Um, crotch is fine. Uh, I would not go out of my way to source Hollister. I have, however, sold them um, when I've gotten them in these boxes before. So I probably will list these. They won't sell for more than, you know, $12 or something, but I'll get my money back on that pair and that helps me offset the cost. Um, so these are Pitaya. I have never heard of that. Um, they do have a style number, which is useful for looking them up, but the wash is, um, quite dated, the zipper works, um, but this kind of wash isn't so popular <laughs> uh, anymore. The crotch looks okay. These are quite flared. Um, so I suppose I might look them up. Oh, they're also a tall, but they're a size large, which is also a dead giveaway that they are not very high end. <laughs> Um, so I probably won't list that pair. Okay, these are Blue Spice 1314. Also, absolutely nothing special. They are quite distressed. Um, and kind of a boyfriend cut. Uh, so it's possible that I might. I probably won't list these either, but maybe. If I get desperate enough. If you're watching and you want any of these, let me know. Okay, this is American Rag, super skinny. Excuse my runny or my itchy nose. The pollen is kind of high. Okay, so these are an 11 regular um, American Rag. Also really not anything special. Low rise, they are skinny on the back. I'm super skinny. I I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with those. Guess we'll wait and see. More maternity. These are indigo blue extra large. Also really nothing special. Um, they do have some flap pockets with designs on the back. They're a boot cut. Uh, I might list them just because they are maternity, um, but again, nothing to write home about. These are dirty, more maternity. They must have had an abundance of maternity at thread up. These are also a glow. These are a 16, um, so plus size maternity. Um, is probably worth listing. There is some wear, but it not, it's not like wearing through. 
uh, dark wash skinny jeans. They do have some schmutz on there, but I think it'll wash off. Um, so dark wash skinny maternity jeans in a plus size, I probably will list, um, but not for much. Okay, indigo rain, also nothing exciting. Um, cropped. These are probably too big for my daughter, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd just give them to her. I did list the last pair of Indigo Reigns I got, um, but they only sold for like $10 or something, which I guess maybe I will do again just to make the money back. Okay, these are Earl jeans, which is also nothing. Uh, size 4 petite skinny jeans with some embellishment on the back dark wash again not sure if I will list those this pair fell out oh more Hollister these are a size 3 Hollister super skinny these do have kind of cute pockets. Um, I might see if my daughter wants these. They look like they would fit her. So we'll see. I will list those if she doesn't want them, even though they won't make much. Okay, here's a pair of shorts. This is that same Xana D, Xana Dye. I'm assuming this is like a Walmart uh, brand. Shorts, back pockets, probably not worth listing. But again, if I'm desperate enough right now, I might. Okay, these are DK and Y. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, these are not a high rise. Well, they're like a medium rise, wide leg, kind of a vintage-y feel to them. I don't know, I don't know if that's a vintage DKNY tag made in Mexico. Hmm. I don't know about those. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Okay. Oh, Forever 21. This is a Forever 21 very light wash denim mini skirt, um, size 27, with kind of a raw hem. I probably will list that, maybe, um, maybe just to try to break even. These are Karen Kane pink jeans, size 6. Pink. These are high rise, skinny. Uh, this brand is not a brand I would normally sell either, so I don't know. I guess I'll decide on that. Okay. How are you all sourcing right now? Are you still going to thrift stores? Are you just sourcing your death pile? I know a lot of people are relisting. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's trying to do some sourcing online. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you're doing. These are level 99, um, which I think sort of sometimes is Stitch Fix or not Anthro. I don't really know. They're, people sell them. I have never had any luck with them. These are dark wash, uh, skinny. These are actually kind of nice classic jean, um, but there is no size information anywhere, so that's going to make listing them a pain in the butt. Yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I probably won't list those because that's annoying. Okay, these are Refuge, seven long, boot cut, totally a nothing brand that I would not pick up. 
luck of the draw with these boxes. Luck of the draw. My luck's not so good so far, although the Everlane ones are, are pretty good. Yeah, D jeans also. Nothing, eight petite. These are like a pedal pusher. Super crop. Jean. Okay, some Levi's. Low skinny, 531s. These are a 10. But they're a low rise, skinny. I probably will list these, but um, not for much. Um, I don't know. I might not. I have to decide. Really, my goal is make my money back, make a little bit of profit, and keep having new things to list. Okay, these are Can Can. I have done really well with Can Can, but usually only when they're super, super distressed. Um, and these are not. This is These are a size 11 or 29. Um... Oh, well, that might be interesting. Wow. Okay, so these <laughs> these have like some pearls and super chewed up raw hem. Um, it looks like the pearls are there, if not all of them, enough that you can't tell they're not all there. Okay, these will, I'll do okay with these. Certainly not great, but... Um, Maybe I can sell those for 20. We'll have to check and see. The last ones I sold, I sold for 35 overnight, but they were like distressed top to bottom, raw hem. I think they were a good size too. Okay, so these, this is Volcom, size nine. Um, I do not pick up Volcom jeans, but I do sell Volcom other things. These are slim slouch jeans um so i probably will list those um oh that's cool they have like a twisted hem on the front um volcom and quicksilver and those kind of brands um for some reason are pretty steady bread and butter sellers for me they do not sell for a lot of money but i find them a lot really cheap and so i do list them I feel the same way about Columbia and Nike and stuff. Okay, these are Old Navy, size four, the Dreamer. Um, boot cut, some distressing at the bottom. Uh, not very exciting. These are Paige. Okay, so these do have a fair amount of um, puckering here by the crotch right here um, which when you're wearing them you don't notice it so much but um, a lot of people won't buy them because of that uh, they are the skyline skinny which I've done okay with they're size 26 dark wash no distressing um, I might go ahead and list those just lower than I normally would um, Someone can get a deal on them that doesn't mind that, and I can make a little bit on them. Okay, this is Amethyst, size seven. Also, absolutely not something that I would pick up to sell. They are skinny, they have this really bright white seaming, pockets are really crazy. Uh, not something I would pick up. I doubt I will list those. But you never know. Desperate times, y'all. Desperate times. These are American Eagle. Um, kick boot, size four short. Not so good. Kick boot and not distressed. I don't know. I'll check into these. If I can sell them for 15 bucks, I'll probably list them just so I don't lose too much. Okay, it looks like two more pairs in here. Oh, these are cello jeans, size nine. Also really not anything I would pick up. And unfortunately, they have quite a bit of puckering all in here, um, which is too bad because I might list them otherwise because they're super distressed, but 
um, that puckering will mean that I don't think that anyone will buy that brand with puckering. Okay, last pair, it doesn't look good. Oh, well. Okay, these are Miss Me, which um, people used to sell for a lot of money. They don't anymore, I don't think. And these, <laughs> these are so tiny. They're a 24. That's really small. Oh, and there's a hole in the pocket. <laughs> okay, well, those probably won't sell for anything. Um, with a hole in the pocket and being so tiny, I might list them for 12 or $15 and see if anybody wants them. But I think it's unlikely. Okay, so that's it. Um, the Miss Me's, I'm going to go ahead and say maybe... Maybe I'll list them for 15. These cello jeans, I probably will just redonate. Okay, that's two pairs. This American Eagle pair, I might list really cheap. That would be three pair. Uh, these amethyst ones, I probably won't list. I'm not even gonna bother counting them. Um, these page ones I probably will list fairly cheap. So that's my first pair that I probably will go ahead and list. I don't think I will list the Old Navy. These, uh, Volcom, I will try. The Can Cans, I probably will try. The Levi's, I probably will try. The D Jeans, I don't think I will. The Refuge, I don't think I will. The Level 99, if I can do some research and figure out what they are, I might sell those. I will not, well, I might look these Karen Canes up, but I don't think I'll sell those either. I probably will list this mini skirt just because it's seasonally appropriate. I'm going to look up the DKNYs, but I don't think I will list those either. I uh, probably won't list those shorts. These Hollisters, I probably will either see if my daughter wants or list them. I don't think I will list the Earls or the Indigo Rain. I probably will look up the maternity ones. Um... I don't think I'll list those. Probably not. These are the Blue Spice Super Distressed. I might list those just because they're so distressed. I will not list those. Probably will try these Hollisters. Those are... Okay. Okay, so if I list the cat, if I list all of these, which they're the maybe, so I probably won't list them all, but this is one. This is the Castellan pair, so that's one. Maybe these embroidered plus size ones would be two. The Everlane I will definitely list unless I find a flaw. That's three. Um, these Judy Blues only because of the style. What's that? Four. These maternity ones are a five. Hollister is a six. Blue Spruce is a seven. Maternity is eight. More Maternity is nine. Hollister is ten. I'll look up the DKNYs. That's eleven. The skirt is twelve. The Karen Kane is thirteen. Levi's are fourteen. Can Can is fifteen. Volcom is sixteen. Page is seventeen. And the level ninety-nine is eighteen. So if I list all of those, um, I imagine only the Everlanes stand to make any real money, um, and even that's probably not a ton. Um, I think I paid, $48 for this free shipping. Um, so yeah, that's not very good. Uh, 14 pairs of jeans for $48, none of them fabulous. Um, but it will give me some new inventory and we'll hope for the best. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it would mean a lot to me if you'd be willing to do that. Um, these are crazy times out there and I appreciate anybody spending any of their time with me. Uh, stay tuned, there will be two more thread up unboxings on the next day or two and then there's more on their way. Thanks, have a great day and happy selling.